Hello everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to circle back to the last video I made on Seeking Sister Wife on Danielle. As we know, Seeking Sister Wife has premiered with a bang. All of these, oh my gosh, there! this was such excellent casting so far. I hope, I really, really hope that problematic social media posts and whatnot. I hope that doesn't happen with any of these cast members. We shall see. But so far, this casting is so good. These storylines are very interesting, very compelling, and no family is really going through it more than the Merrifield. Danielle Merrifield is out for revenge this season. But to me, it seems like her focus is on the wrong person. As I said in my last video, Roberta is not the villain here. Now, hear me out. Garrick and Danielle have had existing marital problems. Filing for the divorce. We cried about it. Divorce is definitely a sore subject for me. Uh, Derek and I did get married very young and went through a lot of struggles and a lot of hard times. And there was a lot of times we didn't think that we would make it. So yeah, there was times because of that, like Derek did print off papers and was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, and I didn't blame him. So after over a decade of living monogamously, Garrick suddenly has this calling to live the plural lifestyle. And I have always suspected that this was more Danielle capitulating to save her marriage than any kind of calling she felt. And my, oh my, the fallout has been massive for the Merrifields. I mean, Garrick lost his entire family. It was very apparent last season that Danielle was very uncomfortable with the idea of polygamy. And she was very clearly hurt and feeling left out last season. Garrick didn't seem to pay her feelings any mind last season. He was way too focused on all of their bang trips about getting Roberta pregnant. And here's the thing, like I've said before, I'm not a polygamy expert, but I've seen a lot of TV shows about polygamy, read some books about polygamy, and the Merrifields are going about this adding another wife process all wrong. Danielle is simply not giving Garrick and Roberta the space and the independence to develop their relationship outside of her. As we've seen with other couples on this show and on shows like Sister Wives, the courting process is not something that the other sister wives are heavily involved in. The husband will date or court a potential wife and whether or not how far that goes romantically is something that he needs to discuss with the other wives, you know, boundary setting and whatnot. But it's not like the other wives are attending dates. Having to witness that initial spark, that flirtation, that heat, has to be very uncomfortable for Danielle. And it's just ill-advised. The relationships are independent relationships. The marriages are e their own marriages and they exist under the this family umbrella of a plural marriage. What we see with the Merrifields is Danielle is on every video call. She has attended every bang trip. I still do, and I felt this way last season, so incredibly bad for Danielle. Imagine being married for 13 plus years, having gone through marital issues as many married couples go through, and then your husband comes at you with this shit, and you've been married to him since you were 19. You have two kids with him. So what are you supposed to do? Oh, and he gave you the cute nickname Big Wife to distinguish you from your potential sister wife. I'd be all in my feelings about it too. It's clear that Danielle is very uncomfortable with the idea of plural marriage. And Garrick really doesn't care about anyone's feelings but his own. And if you guys have noticed, Danielle is very active on social media. Garrick, to a lesser extent, but both of them are pretty active on social media. We have not heard anything from Roberta 
until now. So I had made an Instagram reel about my last video and Roberta actually left a comment on that reel. So I reached out to her. I actually noticed one of her Instagram posts in particular that I wanted to talk about and I asked if it was okay that I used the post and she said that it was okay. And Instagram actually has the option, you can translate it from the port from its original Portuguese to English. So that's what I did here. And this is what she had to say. I stopped wondering, damn, I was so good to someone like that. Why did she do that to me? And to blame myself for the attitudes of others. I'm tired of carrying the weight of the absence of reciprocity and the excess of other people's nonsense. It was beautiful when I understood that I should not feel better bad for having been a good person to someone. I should not feel muggy when I give my best and they do not appreciate it when I offer the most beautiful and deepest parts of myself and they retribute with neglect, coldness, and lack of attention. Each one acts in accordance with its essence, with its principles, with what is happening inside the mind, and mainly with what the heart can deliver. People only give what they can give. They only act how their maturity allows them. Therefore, I carry with me one of the greatest certainties in life. Each one offers what he has in his heart, nothing more and nothing less. And look, modesty aside, my heart is full of good things to give. Today is another beautiful day, so let's make the most of it. Beautiful day. I think it's safe to say that things are probably not going to end well between Roberta and Garrick and Danielle. And what's really a bummer is that they have been courting Roberta for three years. They've made several trips to Mexico to meet her. And they've actually brought their two sons there multiple times. And Roberta has a really good relationship with their son. So it's just really heartbreaking when familial attachments develop between kids and potential other wives and then those get broken. I think it's a pretty natural reaction where we feel like someone has done us wrong or we have a perceived injustice done to us to turn on the person we think is delivering that injustice to us. But the problem here is that the person doing Danielle wrong is not Roberta, it's her husband, Garrick. We all heavily sympathized with Danielle last season because it was a really shitty thing for Garrick to put her through. Like how emotional she was with the divorce, how Garrick seemingly just totally disregarded her feelings at every turn. It was, it was not hard to sympathize with Danielle. What's disappointing this season is to see that it seems like Danielle is harnessing some first wife energy. She's out to really establish dominance in the family but it's all at Roberta's expense. And that's just not fair because Roberta didn't do anything wrong here. Remember last season when Roberta felt really bad, she was really emotional and she revealed to Danielle while they were out to dinner that she and Garrick had had an intimate moment and Garrick just kind of chuckles it off. This really shows that Roberta cared about Danielle, cares about Danielle, about her feelings, and about having all of the relationships be good relationships. She really didn't have to feel bad. I mean, she is going into this with the intention of being a sister wife, where you are intimate with all the same husband. So really, she I don't think she necessarily had anything to feel bad about, but she still did because she's a human and she could see that Danielle was hurting. Where we are at in the show, we've had one episode so far. The Merrifields have not seen Roberta in a year. And I just can't help but find it a curious thing that Danielle feels the need or felt the calling to add a third wife when she has not had to share her husband in a year. Her justification for not wanting to have lonely nights when she doesn't have Garrick 
and have another wife to have someone to hang out with while Garrick is off banging another wife. It's just not an issue right now because Roberta has not seen them in a year. Why not wait to add another wife until that actually is something that comes up? I have found Danielle's change in attitude, her change of behavior, hysterical, satisfying, love to see it, but at the same time, it's completely misdirected. If this was directed towards Garrick, I would be like, hell yeah, go Danielle. But at the end of the day, the person that's going to be suffering from this is Roberta, and that's just such a bummer. All in all, Danielle is certainly not cut out for polygamy. She is not the type of person that is able to let her husband go off and have another intimate relationship with someone. Danielle is literally chaperoning all of Garrick's intimate moments with other potential sister wives. This is just never gonna work out. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, have a good one, much love.